In this video, we are going to take the stream we're getting on line 12 and put it in our video tag, which is over in index. It's right here, line 47. And then we'll need to talk about a couple other things before we move on too fast, because there's a lot going on here that we will unpack slowly over the next couple videos. So for starters, uh, in index.html, we have a, another button called show video. Uh, that is when we are going to actually kick our feed in. So I'm going to do document.query selector get the thing with show video, and then the rest of this is going to be the same, except we're going to change our function to show my feed. Okay, so let's define that. Const show my feed, we will expect the event. And then in here, just as a quick sanity check, show my feed is working. Okay, you don't have to do that, but sanity checks are always good. So back over to index.html, let's show our mic and our camera, allow, and then show my video. There we go. So it is working. It is painfully simple to set the stream into our video tag for a couple reasons. And we'll do it first and then we'll come right back. Uh, up at the very top, I'm going to create a, a new variable called video L. And we're going to do document.query selector. And we're going to grab my dash video. This is just a, a convenience variable. Instead of having to grab it every time, we will use it quite a bit. But down in line, 21 here. We're going to do video L dot SRC object equals our stream. Okay, this will set our media stream, and I'll put in parentheses stream, to our video tag. Okay, and let's go test it out. Come back over, refresh, share my camera. Now, before you hit show my video, make sure that you either have headphones on or you're ready for feedback. I have set my default audio input to something different so that it's not picking it up, but <laughs> we have a feed. And how did we get our feed? Well, line 12, our stream is the result of get user media. What's get user media? It returns a promise that resolves to a media stream object. We go over to media stream. Remember media stream is a stream of media content several tracks such as video and audio and each one of those is a media stream track and you can you can go look at this again but we we don't need to at the moment the good news is that our media stream is a valid src object for our video tag that's why it's working is because the video tag can take the different streams in this case video and audio and play them and there's nothing else required that's what this is right here our media stream, which we put inside of stream, is set inside of our video. Okay, so a couple things. Come back over to our app. What video is showing in here? And what audio input is it is it drawing from? Like I said, I changed my audio input to something else. By default, get user media will only have access to the default uh, stuff that you provide. We will we'll give the user choice later on, but up front, that's all we have access to down here in our media stream. Let's find out what that is. So if we come to media stream, scroll down to our instance methods, there's one called get tracks, and then we have get video tracks as well as get uh, audio tracks. They all do the same thing. The only difference is that video and audio will filter based on the kind attribute. So whether it's video or audio, get tracks simply gets everything. So back over to show my feed, let's create a variable called tracks, and we'll set that equal to stream.get tracks open close and then let's console.log tracks so refresh share the mic and the camera it shows up down here the media stream does click show my video the video feed comes in and if you look at line 24 here we've got two different ones or at least I do I have an audio and that is this default quick time that's why it's not actually picking anything up because that doesn't go anywhere and then we have our video which is my FaceTime camera and like I said, I have this mic that you can see on my video up here, as well as a another webcam, and I've actually got several other input devices as well. These are the ones that my browser has access to. Unless we tell it to use something different, it will not. Okay? That is what Get Tracks does, is it will get each individual track that's part of the media stream, which came from Get User Media. We've got a bunch of other cool stuff we're going to do. Change the screen size, record, share the screen, and then the, the options that I mentioned. Let's do stop my video because that is pretty much uh, along the lines here of show my video. 
down below line 24, these are our tracks. So the tracks inside of the media stream uh, object comes back as an array where we've got our audio and video. Well, down on line 28, let's paste a, a new one in and we've got a button called stop video. And we'll change our function to stop my feed. Let's define that. So we'll con stop my feed. And in here, we're going to do the same thing we had up on line 23. So let's just copy that line. So we've got const uh, tracks equals stream dot get tracks. And tracks is an array. So we can do a for each, call the one we're on track. And for now, let's just console.log track and see what it is. So line 28 is what we are after when we click on stop my feed. So refresh, share, allow show i'm going to clear this out and let's click on stop my video so it kicked back two individual uh, media stream tracks and media stream track over here if we scroll down to our instance methods there is a stop method <laughs> so that looks like a winner this will stop playing the source associated to the track they are disassociated both the source and the track the track state is set to ended there is not a start Okay, so you can't start it up again. You'll have to go and fetch it again. It's sort of start over. It doesn't mean you can't use it again. You just can't start it up again quite as easy as we will be able to stop it. So I'm going to drop these lines down, get rid of console.log track, and we will call track.stop open close. And I'll put a note here. This associates the track with the source. Okay, this is enough to kill the feed. Let's come back over to index, refresh, start up the feed, show it, stop it, and it has ended. If I click show again, it won't work because we've, we've disassociated those two things. At the moment, you'll have to click share again, and then you can show, stop, share again, allow, show. But you can't just stop and start again because uh, it, it doesn't work that way. The, the, they have been disassociated.